over here. Today I'm going to be reading The Ocean Alphabet Board Book by Jerry Pelota. A is for Alphabet Book. A is also for Atlantic Ocean. The fish and other creatures in this book live in the North Atlantic Ocean. B is for Bluefish. Everyone loves to catch bluefish because they love to fight. Their teeth are very, very sharp. So don't even, don't ever put your fingers in their mouths. C is for cod. Cod can be found everywhere in the North Atlantic Ocean. Some grow to be as big as a 10 year old boy or girl. D is for dogfish. They are also known as spying dogfish. They are little sharks. Every dogfish has a barb on its back and a barb on its tail. E is for eel. Eels are slimy. Eels are long and thin like snakes. If you do not like to hold snakes, then you'd probably not like to hold eels. F is for fiddler crab. Most crabs have claws that are the same size. The fiddler crab only has one big claw and one tiny claw. G is for goosefish. A goosefish is ugly looking. It has lots of teeth. Its mouth is as wide as its body. Goosefish are also called monkfish. H is for haddock. A haddock looks a lot like a cod. Behind the haddock side fin, there is a dark spot that looks like a fingerprint. I is for inkfish. Inkfish is another name for squid. Squid spray ink to scare away fish that attack them. J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish are soft, gooey, and see-through. Their dangling arms can sting if you touch them. K is for killer whale. Killer whales are mammals. They are not fish. They are very beautiful and can jump completely out of the water. L is for lobster. Lobsters have two claws that can pinch. They have eight legs. They also have two antennas that help them find out where they are. M is for minnow. Minnows are little fish. Usually they are only as big as your finger. They can be found in shallow waters, marshlands, and creeks. N is for Northern Puffer. If you touch a puffer, it will blow itself up like a balloon. O is for Octopus. This octopus is scary looking, but it will not hurt you. It has eight arms. Can you imagine shaking hands with an octopus? It would take all day. P is for Periwinkle. Periwinkles live inside shells. They can be found on rocks at low tide. Some people call them snails. Q is for quahog. Quahogs are clams that have thick, hard shells. Medium-sized quahogs are called cherry stones. Small quahogs are called little necks. R is for redfish. Redfish are caught in very deep water. They are oily, and lobstermen use them as bait to catch lobsters. S is for scallop. Scallops have pretty shells and are a lot like clams. There are many other sea creatures whose names begin with S. Sharks, sculpin, salmon, sand dollars, sunfish, smelt, shrimp, and sea stars. T is for tuna. Everybody has heard of, heard of tuna. The largest tuna are called bluefin. When they are grown up, they are almost as long as a car. U is for urchin. Urchins are round with hundreds of shark spines sticking out of their shells. If you are barefoot, do not step on one. V is for viperfish. Viperfish live in deep, dark waters. They have lights inside their mouths and along their sides to attract food. W is for wolffish. Wolffish have large teeth and strong jaws that are used to open their favorite foods. Quahogs, scallops, clams, and mussels. We cannot think of any letter, any fish whose name begins with the letter X. Can you? Oops, we found one. X is for Xiphius gladius. This is the scientific name for swordfish. Y is for yellowtail flounder. Flounders are flat fish that have both eyes on one side of their heads.
can you guess why this kind is called the yellowtail flounder? Z is for zillions. That's how many fish there are in the ocean. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. See you next time.